Hey everyone, I'm Kimber Schaefer with Rage in the Cage Oklahoma and we're here at Solid MMA in Oklahoma City and we're talking about Rage in the Cage 30 happening on August 15th, 2014 at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market and I'm here right now with Shaq McKillop and this is your home gym, Solid. So let's start with that. Tell us a little bit about Solid MMA. Um, Solid is a jiu-jitsu based school. We like to go over all jiu-jitsu, gi, no gi, um, Muay Thai and wrestling. We do it all here and so it's a great place to train. You know, if somebody is looking for a gym in this area, what do you think your um, what do you think puts you above the rest? Um, being family oriented, I think um, any guy, any person that walks in, we're all open arms, want to help, and we're all helpful, trying to make each other better. So, well, that sounds perfect. So let's talk a little bit about your background, and then we'll move into the fight on August fifteenth. You are three and two. Mm -hmm. Um, you've been pro about a year, mm -hmm. and this will be your first fight for Rage in the Cage since you were an amateur fighter. Is that correct? That's correct. I'm also um, a boxer, 1-0 in boxing, so um, I prefer standing up, but um, like I said, it's a jiu-jitsu-based school, so if we go to the ground, that's even more for me. It's all good, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> all right. So let's talk about your preparation for August 15th. You're fighting um, and. Forgive us if we don't say his name correctly, Boya Zua, and tell us about your preparation for this fight. Um, my preparation for this fight is really staying calm, letting my hands pretty much do the work, um, don't crowd myself. I mean, to me, he's not strong in any, you know, department in mixed martial arts. He's a tough guy, I'll give him that, and uh, he comes straight forward, so I'm going to use my lane, stay back, use kicks, and when it's time, take him down, probably submit him. You're coming off of a recent loss, so what did you learn from that one? Um, I'm coming off a loss with Ryan Couture, that's correct. Uh, what I learned most was that trust my hands. You know, I hit him a few times and crowded myself, and he got the takedown, and it was basically a grappling match after that. So have more confidence in my hands and let him go, and instead of being on the defense with takedowns, start being an aggressive one and taking other people down and being aggressive the whole fight and just letting off or letting back. Let's also talk about your background. What made you want to become a fighter in the first place? Um, my mom said I had anger issues, so she put me in um, MMA classes and fell in love with it. And from there, after um, college, I just stayed with it. So how long have you been fighting? I've been fighting since probably about four years, four and a half years now, training in uh, amateur. And then I went pro the beginning of last year. So I just enjoy the training, enjoy the competition, things like that. What about your ultimate goals? I mean, are you, like most fighters, you want to make it to the big stage, the UFC, or you just do this kind of as fun? Um, ultimately, I would love to make it to the big stage. That's why I challenge people with better records than me. That's why I go after Ryan Couture. That's why I haven't took a fight with a guy with a losing record or a, um, a fighter with less fights than me. This would be the first fight that I took with a guy less fights, less fights with less fights than me. So, I mean, it's kind of whatever I can get. But at the same time, I thrive to be the best and put my name out there. And that's why I challenge everybody with better records. I... I can tell that you're a good speaker, and I, I've tried to tell a lot of fighters this. They don't realize the importance of being a good speaker when you want to go to the UFC and things like that because third round, I mean, fighters that may beat you, if you are not good on camera and you don't speak well, your chances are limited. So you definitely, I feel like, have a leg up on some guys just because you are a good speaker. I'm very comfortable in front of the camera. I want to be in front of the camera all the time, so... I can tell, and I've just met this guy. So, um, well, you know, I'm glad to meet you tonight. So excited about your future in the cage and excited to have you on our card for Rage in the Cage. We have a lot of good things going for us now and a lot of good fighters, and, you know, you're just going to add to the mix, and we're your family now. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm excited to fight on this um, promotion and give you guys a show, so I'm excited. Well, we'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for joining us for Shakir's pre-fight interview, and we will see you all August 15th.